All right, welcome back. On this video here, we are going to be talking about constants. And constants are the same thing as variables. It's a, like a container where we can put information in there, right, data. But the, the only difference is that it doesn't change. And well, and it does have another difference that we define it with a function. Now, let me give you an example. You already know how we define a variable. And if I can get this PHP tag right, we know that we define a variable like this. Now, if you don't know where I am and you're a little lost right now, know that I just made a save as on blank.php and I called it constants.php. That's what I did. I grabbed the blank.php file that you should have in your course exercise files or you should have it in your working file now that you are using. And I just did a save as and renamed it constants.php, all right? Just so, so that you know. So we know that variables have something like this they are like this and we can just go ahead and echo them on the screen like this right we can just print them out and we have number 10 right this is how we define a variable dollar sign the name of the variable we assign it a value now constants we need functions for constant we need those pre-built functions from PHP that they already define for us we need to actually use them so we need to use the function define this function is going to define a variable for, for us. Well, not a variable, a constant, because it's constant. You can't change the value. Once you set the value of a constant, you can't change it, no matter what you do. So I'm going to set a constant called uh, name. I'm going to put the name. And the first parameter it takes is the name of the constant. The second, divided by a comma, is going to be the value. So I'm just going to name it. I'm going to give it a value of 1,000. I could also give it a value of a string if I wanted to. But in this case, I'm just going to name it that and give it a value of 1,000, all right? So I'm just going to echo this like this. And as you can see, I got 1,000 there. If we use a dot and a little concatenation here just to make it go to the next line, you can see that. Now, if I try changing this value here for some reason, if I say name equals 2,000, if I try doing that, I get an error, right? So, I mean, that is a problem, right? Well, it's actually not a problem. It's actually very good. We got variables, and we can do whatever we want with variables, and we can change the value of a variable. We can come here and say number is going to be equal to 1,000 now. And you see that? And then we can come back here again and change the variable name uh, to, say, Edwin. Look at that. You see that? But you can't do that with a, with a constant, all right? So just keep in mind that this is how we define a constant by using this function define. The first parameter is the name. The second will be the value, all right? Thank you so much for watching, and i see you in the next lecture. Take care.